Hello everybody, Jean here. We're back in orbit around Mars with a Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. I'll be showing you two context camera photographs in this video. Many of you may be familiar with the so-called Crater Pyramid, located in Acidalia Planitia. Well folks, I found what looks like a second one. This one's located in Elysium Planitia. You can see Crater Pyramid in this context camera photograph. Let's have a look at some of the details for this photograph. Scaled pixel width 6.03 meters. Acquired on 2008 09 27. And this is a huge photograph folks. It comes in at a scaled image height of 163.16 kilometers so let's have a look at that pyramid and crater in the viewer you can clearly make out the four sides of this pyramid and right next to it that circular depression so just check this out what are the chances of something like this happening in nature? And then there's a second one that we'll be having a look at in a moment. So there are the four sides, symmetrical pyramid and the circular depression. Let's have a look at the measurements. So this circular depression is approximately six kilometers wide and the width of the one side at the base of this pyramid is approximately 2600 meters and there we're looking at a side view of the pyramid and this huge circular depression and here's the photograph in which we find the second crater pyramid. The details for this photograph scaled pixel width 5.52 meters acquired 2006 11 20 and the scaled image height is 110.86 kilometers so let's open that in the viewer and zoom in on this strange arrangement of a three-sided pyramid and a circular depression right next to it aligned symmetrically with the triangle so just check out the geometry and symmetry going on here folks the circular depression is approximately 5,000 meters wide and the width of the triangle at the base is approximately 2,400 meters. And there's a side view of this strange pyramid and the circular depression in front of it. Right, we're in Google Mars zooming into the site where the famous crater pyramid is located switch on the ctx mosaic right let's take a closer look and 
we'll take a side view right let's fly around this anomaly and check it out Right, let's head on up to the second crater pyramid. Right there folks, let's switch on the CTX mosaic. and we'll take a side view So the logical question to ask is what sort of process in nature produces two duplicates like this? Virtually the same size and shape. And also if the pyramid or the pyramids were existing and a meteorite struck the surface right next to the pyramids, wouldn't they have been destroyed? So we can infer that these circular enclosures were built after the fact. And what did they store? Water? Who knows? And for what purpose? We know that the pyramids in Egypt, underneath them there is a water basin. And as far as I understand, they used to be quite close to the Nile. So is water used in some process in combination with some type of technology in these pyramids. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and found it insightful. Let's engage in the comments and see if we can come to some type of conclusion what the use of these crater pyramids might be. Water technology related or just pure coincidence? Anyway, thanks for watching.